Hey guys, so today we're going to continue on with coordinate geometry. We're going to go through using straight lines to solve equations, in this case, two equations. The previous knowledge that you require in order to complete this is you need to have good understanding of Cartesian planes, you need to know how to do equations or inverse operations, and you also need to know how to make y the subject of a formula. Uh, if you don't know how to do any of that, please watch some of the previous videos and then come back to this one. So let's go through some theory, just some basic understanding of, of how we're going to complete these questions. So number one, when we are given two equations for straight lines, they both have x and y variables. For example, I'm given two equations here and I'm given y equals 2x, so y and x, and I'm also given y equals x plus 1 y and x. So both of those x and y variables will have something different. For example, if I look at the first one and I make x, for example, 2, then y is going to equal 4 because 2 times 2 equals 4. So each x value will have a different y value in each of these equations. So let's go through continue. There will be one result for every x value in each of these equations. We just went through that. But there will also be a set of x, y coordinates that will be solutions to both of these equations, meaning there will be a set of x and y numbers or coordinates that will meet both of those equations. Now, there are many ways to do this, but the one that we're going to go through today is finding solutions using the graphing method. So one way to find this set is to graph them both. So let's go through the steps uh, of how we do this. So the first step is to ensure that both equations are in the form of y equals mx plus b. So if I look at both these equations, y equals x, uh, 2x and y equals x plus 1, they are both in the form of y equals mx plus b. So I don't need to rearrange them in this case. But if they were not in the form of y equals mx plus b, I'd need to rearrange them first to make them y equals mx plus b. The second step is to create a table of values for both graphs. Now, in this example, I've given the table of values. However, you can make any table of values because we know when we graph straight lines, we only need two points to join them and continue them on. So I've given a table of values from zero to three for both. So now we're gonna make the table of values for both of these. I'm gonna label one in purple, the first one, and the second one in pink. So when X is zero, Y is gonna equal two times zero, which is zero. When x is 1, y is going to equal 2 times 1, which is 2. When x is 2, y is going to equal 2 times 2, which is 4. And when x is 3, y is going to equal 2 times 3, which is 6. So that's one table of values done. Let's do the second one. When x is 0, y is going to equal 0 plus 1, which is 1. When x is 1, y is going to equal 1 plus 1, which is 2. When x is 2, y is going to equal 2 plus 1, which is 3. And when x is 3, y is going to equal 3 plus 1, which is 4. So we made that table of values. We've done step 2. So now step 3 is use two points and graph the two equations. So I'm going to do one in purple. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use a highlighter and show you. I'm going to use 0, 0, and I'm going to use 2, 4. Uh, and then I'm going to use 0, 1, and I'm going to use 2, 3 for the second one. So let's do the first one in purple. 0, 0, right there. And 2, 4. Crawl to 2, climb to 4. There. Join them up with a ruler. I don't need a ruler because obviously mine makes it. Now let's do the pink line. 0, 1, 0, 1, right there. And then... 2, 3, 2, 3, right there. So we can join these up here. Okay, now see where they intersect. Intersect means where do they cross over? So if I zoom into this for a second, you'll see they cross over exactly, I'll use a blue, they cross over exactly at that blue point, which is 1, 2, 1, 2. That's where they cross over. That is a solution to our question here. They both cross over, they both meet the um, condition of one, two. So that's as simple as it is of how we uh, find a solution by graphing two lines. We look at where they, so the answer to this is one, two. 
Hopefully that helped you. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask.